How's it going? We're getting our bait ready right now. Yep. We got about 35 bluegill total. We're, we're setting out about roughly like 35 limb lines. But uh, this is our first step here. Captain Garrett's been catching our bait for the last hour and a half, two hours, and Stu. I've been getting all the lines rigged up and stuff, but we're gonna show you guys everything we do to catch catfish, mainly flathead catfish. That's what we're targeting. So we're using only live bait. Um, so we're, we have 35 live bluegills and just like that, Garrett got another one on a night crawler, so. You guys stay tuned, it should be a good video. Um, this stuff is really easy to do, so you guys stay tuned. She going first. Yeah. Mm. She deserves it. Still breathing. So. Get a little wiggle to him. That's pretty good. All right, guys. So we're gonna show you how we set these things. That's the one we just set. That's what that's up looking like. Basically, you find you a good overhanging limb or a piece of structure that you can tie your limb line to, just like this. And you'll get up in here, <laughs> and you'll just tie a knot up here. Yeah, and in Missouri, you gotta have a tag on there with your information on it. Uh, so make sure you check with your local laws or whatever to make sure you're doing this legally. But and then Garrett. Takes our bait of choice, which is a bluegill, a live bluegill. Live We're bluegill. We're going for flathead catfish, and uh, they only prefer a live bait usually. So, anyway, so we get it set, we get our bait on there, and you just drop it right in the water right there, and just like that, and you let those sit. We let them sit overnight. Um, so, in about 15 hours, we'll come back in the morning and check them, and it, it's going to be chaos probably. That limb's gonna be dancing. That one's gonna have one. And then, are you still rolling? Yeah. And then, also, you know, you're looking for overhanging limbs like this, and you think glove ball's got them. But also stuff like this, this is structure. We got like a root ball up here, or any kind of laying down logs or rock crevices. That's the kind of stuff you're gonna wanna target for catfish, especially flatheads that like to hide in that kind of stuff. So anytime you see something like this, drop a line there, because. There's usually a fish in there. So stay tuned guys. We're gonna bring you along. Should be a good video. Alright guys, so this is another good example of a good place to set your line. There's a big down tree right here. Um, there's all kinds of little crevices and holes on these big rocks that these fish can go into. Um, so definitely, sorry, definitely a good spot if you have anything like this to set a line. Um, because as you can see, there's just a lot of places for these fish to come in and hide and go in holes and stuff like that. So, just like that. That's probably gonna have a fish in the morning. I guess you guys will find out. All right, guys, we're heading in tonight. We just got done setting all our hooks. I think we got about almost 40 of them out, 40 lines out. Um, all of them have live bluegill. This is kind of what it looks like, the banks that we're hitting, just overhanging oak trees and stuff. Nothing too special, but yeah, we're, uh, we're feeling pretty good. Last week I came out here and I only set seven lines. I caught four fish, two flatheads, two blues. So hopefully uh, we do good. We'll check back with you guys in the morning and uh, hopefully we're lucky. All right, guys, it's the next morning coming out here to check our lines um yeah we're pretty excited we got this big tub here to throw all the fish in <laughs> takes up a lot of room but we may have a lot of fish on our hands so we got it with us you guys stay tuned we're almost to the spot all right guys coming up on our first first one that got eaten Oh, 
yeah. Snapper. Dude, that thing's gonna kick my ass. Yeah. Just a gill. It's a slow mo. That's a nice catfish. Nice blue. Oh shit, shit, got it. It's gonna go flying. Try not to Oh yeah. Hold him up. Oh, it's, it's dancing, it's dancing. Hella scared, oh my god. Oh, blue, channel. Not a bad one. Bigger channel. Not bad. Not a bad channel. Get him in the boat. Channel cat. Channel cat shootout today. Yeah. First fish at this location. Yeah, it's our first fish at this location. Buddy down there. place to go check. Now the other places are better spot. That's all you gotta do to keep them suckers alive. Got a tight line here. Yeah, it's, there's a fish on there. This might be a big fish, boys. I was. That's a little easy there. Oh, we had big fish in there. I'm not gonna lie. For the viewers, what it looks like to have a fish on, they can kind of see that limb up there. It's kind of. That limb shaking. Tight line is always a good sign. If it's, if it's slack, you probably don't have one. Still waiting for a big one though. It's better than yesterday. Bunch of eaters. Make that noise. <laughs> Don't look at the bottom, but it's your flat. Oh, yeah. Good man, good man. Flathead. Flathead. Nice. Oh, 
eat. He'll eat for sure. I knew I seen that moving. You just swallowed the hook too. Just cut it. Cut it. Nice. There we go. Flip him for the for the video. Catching a lot of channels, one couple blues, but we'll eat him. This is what we've been after. Finally, dark sucker. Let's go. Good eater too. Good this is a good spot, man. I like it. And our next I think I'm line's coming up. Lines and just that one's set them on the entire bay. Yeah, honestly. I don't know what makes. Damn, that thing's fat. Now our barrels getting somewhere. I knew it had one, dude. I saw that tight shit. It was just barely moving. This is the one that stinks. This one always catches a fish, dude. This one here. You got another tight one right here. Look at that. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, my God. Big blue. Holy big God. blue. Big blue. Nice, boys. Right there. I need to go back just a tad. There we go. Big old blue. Do you want to be double deep or what? Dude, put your hand in there. I'll put my hand in there. Here. Here, I got it. <laughs> there yeah, goes. there he goes. I needed balls, man. <laughs> He's going to bite you, but you got to just pinch hard and lift. There you go. Stu's a man. That's a big fish, boy. That's a nice fish. I'm there we go, cool. guys. Biggest fish of the day, probably 15, 20 pounder. All right, guys. Just got some picks with them. Now we're going to let them go. There he goes. Swim off this side. On to the next one. Here's what we're looking at. It's like going at an angle. Be ready. That's exactly what happened when I caught mine last year. At the same angle. Oh yeah. That. Oh my God. Good, good flat. Good flat. Oh boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good spot. Let's go. Swallowed it. No, he did. I see the hook. Oh. Let's go. Oh my. That's what I'm talking See, about. The line just sits there, man. It's just tight. You don't know it's on there. But these flatheads. Kind of hot. We said good. this one yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday we set a line here and we came back next day. The line was gone. So we said, you know what? We're setting two here. We know there's fish here. I caught one last week here. And this must just be a good spawning spot for this thing. We still have another one here. Oh, we still have a bait on there. But, still have a bait on yeah. it? Yeah. But at least we caught one here. But it was going at that angle like that. I was like, there's probably one there. Hold on, because he's going to twist. Ready? Yeah. Oh, he's kind of calm. There we go, guys. Finally, a decent flathead. It's paying off. Cool, cool. That thing up. Oh, we got fish. Net. Flathead. Another oh. one. Another flathead. Good thing. That was unexpected. <laughs> Last line. I think so. Yeah, it is. There you go. Oh. Oh, that tub. There it is. Happy. <laughs>